Welcome to this fantastic Speed Seduction, the Digital Frontier webinar, where you're going to be learning some amazing, fantastic things. I am your host, the Guru of Gash, the Prince of Poon, the Ayatollah of Moist Quincola, Ross Jeffries. I have been teaching for the last 33 fucking years, all you wonderful horny guys from around the globe. I'm going to ask that you please mute yourself as you're coming in. My co-host today is my teacher. He's actually teaching me how to get matches. I have to tell a little bit of my own story. Just so you understand, I have never been successful up until now with online dating. To be honest, for two years, I was on Tinder and Bumble. I was on um, as a premium member. So I think I paid something like $19.95 a month for each one. Akira, what did they charge to be premium members? Do you oh, it's, it's way higher than that now. It's $39 Canadian for OkCupid for a single month. And then you have Tinder, which is now 29 or 35 or something like that, I think. Right. Yeah. And like an idiot, like an AFC, <laughs> I spent money on super likes, which we're going to get into and why you, you should not do that. I spent money on super likes and profile boost. I think when I added it up, like an AFC, your guru begs for forgiveness from all of you. I spent well over $2,000 and got virtually nowhere. I got a few matches. The matches I got turned out to be cam girls or sugar babies, and, or they didn't look like their pictures. They turned out to be war pigs. So if you're ready, if you're really ready to learn how to make apps work for you, so actually you get quality matches and you get laid and you do it in minimum time. And who's it? Who's excited about getting good, high-quality matches. So seven in the chat window, if that's something that interests you. If you are interested in actually getting quality matches, getting past the guys who are better looking, getting past your looks, which for me, I had a strong belief, Akira, that I could not succeed at this because I don't think I'm a particularly photogenic guy. I don't really think I'm ugly, but I'm much better looking in person. I don't photograph well. But they're actually a few hacks that Akira is going to be teaching you we're, that we're going to be reviewing together that have been working for me to get around all this shit. And uh, we're going to be going through how you can, how you can hack your photos. So you actually get raised to a higher rank and you get shown to women. You actually get up there. So women see your picture before guys who are quote, better looking. Because the algorithm, and this is what we're going to go into, your competition on these things are not just the guys. The big competition is the algorithm that's looking to get you to spend money. We're going to get into this. I want to admit a couple more people. Do we have 60 people in the meeting? But what I actually want to do is let me do this, Akira. Sure. Let me see if I can make you the host. So I'm going to turn it over to you. So the host of the meeting is now Akira. Akira, I'm going to ask you to take it away. So I, before you do, I want to introduce everyone to the world's only first accredited speed seduction trainer, Akira. Akira, um, you are, in fact, a hypnotist, correct? That's right. And you're an NLP practitioner. practitioner. That's right. And so just a little bit about our story, how we came together. Akira has been posting in the group. I noticed, I think, like five months ago that you were really contributing. Like you came I think it was in. Little, it was a little over five months. I think it's, it's now close to a year, believe yeah. it or not. And you came in with a heart of service. You've been doing some coaching with guys and, and really helping. So today I want to introduce Akira. He's going to be leading us and I will be the voice of you guys and grilling this guy because what he's about to claim may at first seem unbelievable, but you will see as he leads you through this journey that in fact it is doable, that no matter what your looks might be, no matter how better looking other guys may be, you can actually succeed at this without spending a lot of money, or even I think any money, as crazy as this sounds, who's interested in doing that? So seven in the chat window, if you would like to actually get laid with some high quality women. Oh, we're already getting bombard bomb 
bombarded with sevens. That's amazing. So if you're if you would like to do that, <laughs> seven in the chat window, if you're willing and ready to learn the secrets of actually doing this. So no matter what you look like, there's some simple hacks we're going to be going through. We're going to be going through the challenges. Obviously, we don't have time here to reveal everything. But over the next 35 minutes or so, we're not going to go a full hours because I don't think you can take everything we're going to be giving you. One thing I do request, I'm going to request that you turn off this, turn it off, Turn off everything else in the background, please. Put the cat out. Uh, my cats may come in and supervise as we're going. <laughs> so, Kara, tell us a little bit, just for a minute. Tell us your mess to success story here. Were you always good on these online apps, or not at all? Not at all. See, I'm I'm a social butterfly. I I like meeting people in person. And when I first discovered online dating, I had no idea what to do. I thought I could just be myself and yeah. put a bunch of pictures up and then see what happens, right? I just left it up to chance. And yeah, that got me absolutely zero matches. And yeah. Who here has gone through that? Has anyone here gone through getting zero matches and uh, just a neck full of frustration? And uh, did you... So if that's you and you're done with that, say, fuck yeah, I'm done with it. Fuck yeah. I want to see some fuck yeahs. I'm done with it. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Mm. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. I want to write fuck yeah because I went through that. Again, guys, I confess, I spent somewhere around $2,000, went against all my own principles because the algorithm sucked me in. Mm. The algorithm, which we were going to talk about, sucked me in gave me matches just enough to keep me going. And then it wouldn't show me anything. And then it, would, it just ran me up and down. So we're going to get into it. So without further ado, let's, why don't you get going with your presentation for us? And Sure thing. Excited here. Okay. Go. So speed seduction. Let me turn off my own phone. How to get laid online with pussy that's fine. Okay, the cold facts. So let's look through these. Um, and, and let me just say, these bot, these programs, it doesn't matter whether it's Tinder, whether it's Bumble, those are the two I wasted my money on. Tinder and I got banned, by the way, from both. Both Tinder and Bumble banned me. <laughs> so there's, explain this, they are run by artificial intelligence, correct? That's right. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So... This artificial intelligence, this is, would you say it's true that this is what we're all fighting against, an AI program? That's exactly what we're fighting against, artificial intelligence. So there's something called the ELO scale, ELO scale, which is based on a desirability rating. And what it does is it deems any picture, any one of the following, inappropriate, low quality, unclear, or fake. It flags all of those. And in fact, it actually bans you for putting up fake pictures. So let's let's go on to this. Fake pictures we know. We tried this. So a couple of students actually took public pictures from the internet of models, created fake profiles, and they got banned because the algorithm will scan for pictures that are public domain yep. and match it to this. Exactly. Then, yep. Within three hours, they got banned. Three hours. Three hours. Okay, let's look at this. Inappropriate, low quality. We're going to go into what low quality means. So, guys, here's what I want you to understand of what you're facing. If you're posting something up there, if you're putting in your profile a picture <laughs> that the algorithm says is low quality, you may not know it. So, if you've been on these things and you're not getting served up any good-looking women, you're not getting any women who you want to match with. You're only seeing the war pigs and the fatties. Who here has been on these things? And I'll type seven in the chat window if what you've been seeing are war pigs and fatties and disgusting women. If that's you, type seven in the chat window. Seven in the chat window if you've been on these things and you've seen pretty much only been served up with war pigs, fatties, fake profiles, the rest of that shit. So what you're saying is if the pictures are unclear, 
or they're low quality and the AI can somehow tell what's right. low quality and what's, what's uh, unclear. Is that yep. what you're telling us? That's exactly what I'm saying. So this is pretty, pretty sophisticated fucking stuff. Yep. Let's go to the next one. Can you see the second slide? Yeah, I can see it. So dating apps rank you on the number of times you swipe right. Let's slow down and, and, and let me ask you what this means. So you're saying if I swipe right a lot of times, the app is going to, the, the artificial intelligence, what is it going to do? It's going to think that you're a robot. <laughs> Funny how that sounds, but it's actually going to think that you're a bot that is just randomly swiping right on every single match that you come across. And then the opposite is also true. So if you don't swipe enough and you keep swiping left, the app is going to think that you're inactive and you're not a participant. And so it's going to lower your ranking based on that too. So, whoa, 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 let's slow down. So guys, I don't know if you're getting this, but if you're unselective, if you're swiping right on every attractive woman, the AI is going to assume you're not a person. Yep. Is that That's correct? exactly it. But if you're swiping left and being too picky or not swiping, uh, explain that to me. If you're swiping left too many times. The app is going to think that you're inactive, that you're not taking part in what the app is intended to do. So it's going to rank you. So we're stuck. So, um, and we got a good question. We're, we're not going to take questions on this. Save your questions for after. So save your questions for after the presentation because we'll answer them then. But uh, so what you're saying is we have a very narrow pathway to success here. If That's right. If you right too many times, the artificial intelligence is going to say, this is not a person. Yep. This is a bot. Yep. And we're going to be low ranked. That's right. If you swipe left or don't, then it's going to say, you're too picky. I'm not serving you anything. That's right. So how the fuck are we supposed to tell? So you're saying to me, one of the reasons why I didn't get served a lot of matches is I was swiping right on every hot women or even super liking them. Yeah. So, so yeah. So what I'm saying is there's a happy medium. It's a couple of things to look out for. You got to look at how the profile is structured. If it's a well-written profile, she's got decent pictures on her profile. That's someone to consider, right? So you got to look at every single match. So what the app is forcing you to do, and what a lot of people don't know, is you got to take the time to review every single match. And you mean then... every single woman that's presented to you? Exactly, every single woman that's presented to you. Now that's counterintuitive, because what I've seen taught on other courses is that just swipe on as many women as you can and increases your it's very counterintuitive because our intuition says the more fish you shoot at the more you're likely to hit one or two or three or four you're saying the opposite Be, i'm saying the opposite doesn't that contradict what you said about being too picky no because again you have to be selective with the ones that you do want to match with if you're over selective that's the other end of the spectrum you're being over selective you're not taking part of uh, taking part uh, in in what the app is actually built for, right? So what the app doesn't tell you, and and the reason why they don't tell you that is because it's a money grab. They want you to spend the dollars. They don't give you an instruction manual on the finer details of how the app actually works, because they conveniently leave that out. You spend money on all the super likes, the boosts, the premium memberships, platinum, whatever you have it, and you just end up swiping blindly and you have no idea what you're doing, right? So, so can we get, is this making sense? Seven in the chat window, if this idea that you have to walk a very, very intelligent pathway between over swiping and not swiping at all, is this making sense? And is it seven in the chat window, if this is making sense and if it's clearing up some of the reasons why these apps are not working for you? And I, I, and I want to dive in here on something. You talk about super likes and boosts because and being premium. I have done all those mistakes. Won't super likes help you get served up to the top of her list so she sees you above guys who are not super liking? Here's the thing. When you super like a girl, what it actually does is... And for it those of you who don't know, 
For those of you who don't know, super likes are a function on all of these dating apps. You have to spend money like $2. It, the app tells you if you do that, you'll be put to the top of the list. It says, let's say you see Debbie and it says, don't miss Debbie. Don't lose Debbie. Buy a super like and you can you can super like Debbie for like two dollars. The app is telling you that you'll if you super like Debbie, it will increase your chances of her seeing you by three to five times. So I've super liked women and, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Are you telling me that that still will get me ranked low if I super like women? If you super like too many times. So if you purchase, if you keep purchasing super likes and you use up all of them in consecutively, yeah, you're going to get ranked lower. There's a trick to using super likes, which we'll talk about later. But okay. the, the, idea, the idea is that what it does, it doesn't raise you to the top of her pile. It raises you to the top of the general pile. So there's only a slim chance that she's going to see you because you're competing with all it's the other guys. It's a fucking out. incredible ripoff. So oh, you're wow. telling me if I spend money on these super likes, it doesn't, they're lying to me. Essentially, they're lying to you. apps are lying. The apps, excuse me, this is pissing me off. So I'm getting my words wrong. The apps are lying. It doesn't raise you to the top of her profile. It raises you in general to the top of everyone's profile. That's right. That's now, Isn't that fraud? It's fraud. And now compare that to the number of guys that actually purchase super likes and do the same thing. So it's fraud. Exactly. So who here is pissed off that they are practicing deliberately uh, fuck yeah in the chat window if, you, uh, if you're pissed off as you now recognize that there's more fraud going on here? That it is fucking, and you're saying it's, it's knowing fraud that the algorithms are programmed by the people to do this. Yep. You know what this reminds me of, Akira, is it reminds me of how slot machines in Las Vegas are programmed to randomly reward you. So you never know when you're going to get rewarded. So you keep putting money. Mm -hmm. there's, there's an experiment that was done with pigeons. And what was uh, being done with pigeons is they had three groups of pigeons. In one group, the pigeon would peck on the bar. Pigeons would peck on the bar. They would get no food. And the other, every time they pecked the bar, they would get food. But in the third one, it was select, it was, excuse me, it was hooked up to a random generator. So they never knew when they were going to get the food. Mm -hmm. They could peck the bar and never get the food, peck and get the food. They pecked that bar till their beaks broke. So it's, a, it's really random reinforcement, selective and random reinforcement. Yep. Essentially, guys, they're treating you like fucking pigeons to get yep. more of your money. And pecking the bar is you buying super likes, spending money on premiums. This, I, this is mind-blowing for me because I did all this stupid shit. Oh, yeah. And then they have all these new features like swipe surge to increase. It's, it's all attacking the dopamine levels in your brain, right? They want you to think you have, you have a chance. Here's swipe surge. Here's a, a boost for you. Here's a free boost. Here's one super like a month. Right. And it, it's just stupid, stupid money making bullshit. Uh, and it just loops. Throughout. Okay. I'm getting depressed. So <laughs> it's kind of depressing. So let's go on to the next. Let's go on to the next. <laughs> Can you guys see the third slide? Yeah. Okay. We see this. So this says that um, match.com, OKCupid, and Tinder, they're all owned by the same company. That's right. Match so group. They're all owned by the same fucking company. They're all owned by the same company called Match Group. And the funny thing is, the same bots and algorithms, and it's called the Gale Shapely algorithm, they're deployed to all three apps. So what does not work on one profile will probably not work on the other profiles that you so have. Let, let me unpack this for you guys. So, because I, I didn't understand this when Akira, and to be transparent, we went through a run through before this because I didn't understand this. I didn't understand this myself. So, you're <laughs> saying if you fuck up on Tinder, it will automatically lower your success on Match. Is that yeah, correct? Because it, it, it records everything that you're doing. And we'll get to that 
uh, in a second. But what it does is whatever you put on your profile, let's say on Tinder, okay? Let's say you want to use that same profile, the same structure, the same bio, everything on Match and on OkCupid to increase your chances. Well, it's not going to work because once it knows that your ranking is low on one of the apps, it's going to happen on all three apps. And someone actually said, except Bumble, but Bumble's another shit show. We're not going to get into that. But yeah, Bumble's these three. Okay. This is fucking pissing me off even more. This is romance racketeering. <laughs> uh, you know, I thought jewelry stores were bad, but this makes jewelry stores and, and roses and candy and the rest of it uh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is this is such bullshit. I mean, you're telling the truth, but what they're throwing at us is such bullshit. Yep. Show us the next one. Okay. Can you guys see this? Yeah, let's look at this and go through them real quickly. So I want to ask a question and, and, and back up. I don't know if you can go back to the last slide. I don't want to fuck up your game here. Sure. If you can't, it's fine. But the number one question on every guy's mind, and seven in the chat window, if you agree, how important are your looks on this thing? Because my objection to everything you're teaching now, i know what you're teaching works but i want to be a voice of the audience so guys is it okay if i'm your voice and i speak skeptically for you seven in the chat window if it's okay if your guru of gash asks the questions that you want to ask and you ought to skeptically be asking because akira's work is as rigorous as mine and can stand up to skepticism one way you know that someone is fake is when people ask hard questions, they're attacked or booted. This work is rigorous. It stands up to scrutiny. It stands up to truth. So I want you guys. So the most important question on every guy's mind is, isn't it true that this is all based on looks? Doesn't give a shit what your profiles are or what your pictures look like. Guy looks like a male model. If a guy's got great features, if a guy looks gorgeous that's it there's no point uh, uh, uh i can't win against guys who are better looking i just can't so let's go to the next slide and address that because that's that's the first thing so you're seeing and this seems to be saying that i'm correct better looking guys with really high quality pictures get more matches so what's the point well here's the key word really high quality pictures so Better looking guys who have lousy pictures will still get low ranking. Also, it doesn't matter if you're better looking. The thing is, they're just automatically using the algorithm wisely. They're automatically fitting the criteria that Tinder has set out in their function and algorithm. What I Tinder understand. you're talking gobbledygook, and the guys probably don't understand. Okay. So so so. I think one thing you may be saying is better looking according to who? Better looking is yes. ranked by what the algorithm thinks is better looking, not by what a woman thinks is better looking. Right. So, Whatever the algorithm fits. Right? Does that make sense to you guys that better looking, functionally speaking here, is what the algorithm thinks is better looking? So if, if the algorithm thinks you're better looking, then you will get served up to women for their viewing above guys who may be better looking in person in person exactly so you're saying you actually if i get this right and i i'm trying to get it right you're saying there are tricks that you can use on the algorithm so the algorithm thinks you're better looking than you really are exactly Okay, do you guys all get that point that there are things you can do to maneuver and manipulate your pictures so the algorithm thinks you're better looking? And we're going to get into how to create high-quality pictures. So do we all understand that point, that there are things you can do with the algorithm so the algorithm thinks you're better looking? So the guys who are better looking in person, mm. the algorithm will actually downrank. Is that correct? That's right. And you're going to be showing some actual proof of that as we come up. Yes. We don't want you to accept this on faith. We're going to actually show you. We're going to show uh, you. That's right. So the other pain point here is that women won't even see your profile 
until they've gone through the ranks of higher, they've gone through the higher ranking matches. Yep. So this is now going with the profile that the bot actually goes through the profile and looks through the profile and says, Hmm, you know, the pictures are good, but the profile sucks. So I'm not going to serve it up. Yep. That's exactly what it does. This doesn't make, so your, your claim is that the artificial intelligence actually reads the profiles. They do. That's how smart they've become. They do. So this effectively, you're saying, you're not saying that these, these AI programs are self-aware. They're not self-aware. They're not self-aware. They're not ready to take over the world just yet. But they've been programmed with functions and uh, code. You know, coding can be very smart. So they look for things like keywords. They look for certain details like, you know, eyes, nose, whatever, angles, as someone mentioned. I mean about the profile. About the profile. What do they look for in their profile? Well, as I said, they look for high quality pictures. They look for a an attention see an attention grabbing bio, and they look for certain things like how you display your eyes, how you display your mouth, certain angles that you take. All of that is they take that into consideration before they. We're going to get it. into this later on what keywords the artificial intelligence actually looks for certain keywords, almost like SEO. So in effect, right. it's SEO for fucking. Exactly. And someone just confirmed what I just said, he, who is a computer engineer. Am, who is a computer engineer, just confirmed what I just said. Okay. Um, let's skip this. So the AI looks for, um, looks, uh, detects fall. So the AI, as far as picture, looks for your eyes. So if they can't see your eyes, you don't get any ranking. Mm-hmm. That's right. No ranking at all, so you won't be shown at all? Well, you'll get dumped into the lower pile, which is essentially the same as no ranking, because you, it'll be days, as I mentioned, before you're even shown, right? And, of course, the final one, I don't think any of us really have. None of us are stupid enough to do this. So political quotes, inappropriate vocabulary. Let's just focus on one of these. Mm -hmm. Inappropriate vocabulary means what exactly? What are some of the key words for inappropriate vocabulary? I want to skip over this and go into some more of the juice because we're about to get into some super juice here. Okay. And who wants to see super juice? Say juice. <laughs> so type juice me in the chat window. It, Juice me if you want to see some fucking super juice here. Juice me, not Jew. Juice me, mother. <laughs> Anyone who just said Jew is getting kicked. <laughs> juice in my eyes. <laughs> we love you, Jack Rice. Jack Rice, you just made me smile, a big fucking smile. Let's go on to the next one, please. All righty. So um, at this point, I am wondering how does what so how does this help the average looking guy? Uh, what's the point of using? And this is the thing I think everyone has in their mind. What's the point if these dating apps have these algorithms that are so nasty? How can we fucking win? Because I have to admit, until you started helping me, and I'm starting to get matches uh, on Facebook dating and on Hinge. What mm -hmm. the fuck can we do? How did you help me? So what can we do? So um, one of the things you're saying here, and I don't want to read off slides, is because it's algorithm and code, mm -hmm. there are loopholes and back doors. That's right. Now, the obvious skeptical question, I like to be the voice of skepticism, is you're telling me that these, I view these online dating apps as sort of being like casinos. The reason why casinos are really big, tall buildings that they can afford to bring in entertainers and pay them tens of millions of dollars is they've got it down. So how could these money-making apps who are making millions, you, would you say they're making millions a year? Oh, yeah. How in the world are they not filling in every loophole? How in the world can there be hacks or backdoors to this sophisticated algorithm? How well, many guys are asking themselves that question? So, guys, if you're asking yourself that skeptical question of, of, come on, 
They built these algorithms to make them millions and millions, hundreds of millions. How in the world can there be backdoors and hacks? If you're thinking a little bit that, wait a minute, how, if, you're at, if you're a little skeptical there, it's called power law. Am's a computer programmer, so apparently he knows about this in social networks. Okay, so Am is confirming it. So I guess they're not skeptical people, so let's move on. So once you know how the algorithm works, you can avoid it and get straight to the That's map. right, because in thoroughness, there's imper imperfection, right? So once you understand those imp imperfections, you'd be able to circumvent all of the, uh, uh, the algorithm's functions. Okay. And someone is saying, just, I'm not here to read. We'll take questions after the webinar is over. But someone says, uh, wondering if they changed the algorithm. So this is a good question. We, we're not going to take questions. But um, uh, don't they change the algorithms constantly? Well, from what I've experienced so far, I don't think they have. I don't think they have because it's still the same. We're still spending so much money. We're still wasting money on super likes and boosts and things like that. It hasn't changed. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get into some answers here. <laughs> that guy's pretty upset. Uh, let's let's skip to the next section. Sure. Okay, so let's get into. We got to get <laughs> the pictures right. So let's look at some. This is. By the way, this is Akira here. <laughs> so let's look at these pictures and show you what is, what is going wrong here. <laughs> so let's look at the first one. My guess is you're not showing your eyes, correct? I'm not showing my eyes. It's covered by sunglasses. I See, I think I'm being cool, but I'm not. According to the algorithm, I'm not cool. Did the algorithm also look at the fact that your shirt is open at all? I, I don't know about that. I, I don't know if it goes that far, but I think certainly if you can't see the eyes, then you're automatically at the bottom of the food chain. Okay, let's look at this next one. Uh, you're showing your muscles. You look good, dude. <laughs> well, I, I used to bodybuild, right? I used to bodybuild. I used to uh, do some wrestling. I, I used to do Aikido and stuff like that. So, yeah, I do have a decent structure bone structure but the problem here is it's a mirror selfie and yes like someone said in the chat big note of mirror selfies you can't see you can't see my eyes i'm covering the phone i'm covering my eyes with the phone and it's just a very very badly taken picture right now i think in the third picture first of all you look like a douche <laughs> <laughs> How many think, so seven in the chat wonder if you think Akira, Akira looked like a douche in that picture. <laughs> Type the word douche. <laughs> yeah, roast me. <laughs> roast him, man. He looks like a fucking douche. <laughs> you just look like a douche. <laughs> but now, women won't like this, but does the algorithm know what a douche is? Will the algorithm look at that pose and go, no? Well, the thing is, Here's the thing. I'm wearing sunglasses again, so my eyes are covered, right? And it's very, very washed out. The, the picture has no contrast. It's not vibrant. And so the algorithm reads that because you can't see a lot of detail. You can see some detail. Okay. Right? Let's go. Let's go to the next slide. All right. I'm enjoying no. this. <laughs> Bad pictures. Again, sunglasses. Although I think the first one, you look pretty handsome there if you didn't have sunglasses. On. If I did not have sunglasses, yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay, let's go to some good ones. <laughs> All right, here come the good ones. There we go. Oh, okay, that's the first one. Uh, so uh, is that professionally taken? No, and here's the, here's the thing. All of these pictures are taken using the iPhone. Every single one is taken the, with, with the iPhone. So, the, so let's, let's, un, let's unpack this. These are good because the algorithm ranks you higher, correct? That's right. And also women like these better? Yeah, because I'm smiling. I've, my eyes are shown. It's well lit. There's decent contrast. And it's just, it makes me look a little bit more polished and, and vibrant. So the, the algorithm can read my face structure. It can read the eyes, the nose. It's very clear. But I just want to say, I'm being honest. The second picture, you don't look, you look a, li a little chubby dude i'm just saying <laughs> yeah i did gain some weight there on my face i'm sure but i think the third one is really good that 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 you're smiling mm -hmm. 
it's got that contrast, so it's kind of blurry in the background, so you pop out. Right. And, you got that depth of field. Yeah. Did a professional photographer do this? No. Again, it's using the iPhone. I think it was an iPhone um, eight or something. You had a friend has... take it. My friend took it. That's right. It's not a selfie. Anyway, photoshopped or just mild contrast, brightness stuff, exposure, that kind of stuff. Even in the chat window, if you guys think this is useful. So, uh, or fuck yeah, if you're finding this useful, let's get a fuck yeah in the chat window. Fuck yeah, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. So what I'm getting here is you're going to be certain, the algorithm will scan these, yep. rank you higher, so women, you get more matches, mm -hmm. and women will also like these more. Yep, that's right. Fantastico. How did you learn this? What did you go through? Very briefly, take 30 seconds, because we're coming up on 45 minutes, and I want to keep this you know, fairly brief so we can do a little Q&A. How did you uh, learn that this is what worked? Well, I did a lot of digging because I was frustrated with the fact that I wasn't getting anywhere with online apps and online dating. So I actually dove in and started researching on how the algorithm works, what does it do, what it picks up on. And I started experimenting. So I had a bunch of pictures. I tried throwing a bunch and seeing what happens. I, I modified certain pictures to see what would happen. So I did a lot of experimentation until I discovered this. Okay, next slide. This is social proof. So you're there with other people? Exactly. Right? And even if you do a selfie, as long as it's visible, as long as your eyes are visible, you're not covering your eyes, and you, you, you're clearly visible amongst other people, then yes, there's a chance that you will get ranked higher. Good. And women like that too. Exactly. They want to know that you have friends, that, that you have people... Well, I don't have any friends, so what the fuck do I do? Ask people on the street. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could just randomly talk to some people and then say, hey, I want to take a selfie, guys. I feel good today. And then, you know, take a decent selfie with a well-lit uh, environment that doesn't have too, uh, too much contrast. And, yeah, you'll be able to, to take some decent pictures. I would eliminate the first one. You look kind of fat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I still got matched with that stuff. Trust you, me. Yeah. So, wait. So even though you look kind of heavy in that first picture, you still got matched? Oh, yeah. Because, again, it's a well-taken shot, right? you got depth of field. You're, my eyes are visible. I've got a friend with me. And everything else is colorful, right? So they, they read that. So they would – and this isn't the first picture that I put up there anyway, right? What matters is the first picture that you put up. The first picture that they see is what matters. Everything else that you put in, yes, they do have to be high quality, but as long as they can see your eyes, it's colorful, there's good contrast, there's depth of field, it's a well-taken shot, you're okay. good to go. Okay, next slide. All right. Uh, let's get into bios real quick because we're running loose on time. Sure. Running long on time. So what's wrong basically with this? Now, the, the basics of bios, by the way, and I just want to slim this down here, distill it. The, the algorithm looks at bios for keywords, correct? That's right. What are some of the keywords? Can you tell us what are the keywords? And guys, you may want to chop down notes. Uh, okay. So if you look at this, uh, these examples here, the first one says, the first one, first of all, it's boring, right? So that's one aspect to it. But second, second of all, there's a line there that says, let's have some fun. And that gets flagged as, oh, one night stand, friends with benefits. That gets flagged by who? Women? By the or algorithm you? and women, both together. So, so you're saying if you put certain words in your bio, the algorithm will not even show it to women. Exactly. Because if you heard of SEO, search engine, uh, search engine optimization, that's how it works. It looks for certain keywords and they rank those keywords based on what those uh, words are, right? And so if you put stuff like show you a good time, let's have some fun, I want to have fun, let's fuck, all of these words, all of these sentences, they get flagged. Not just by women. And nope, women are going to find it, I can tell you women will for, find it boring as bad. Exactly. So it's you're, you're shooting yourself twice in the foot. And what's wrong with Joshua's real fast? 
Joshua racism because he says he dislikes racism, but he he, he makes a very very uh, oh. slanderous, stupid comment at the About end. About the Jews. Yeah. Immediately. Banned oh. for this. Wouldn't that get him banned? Oh, it did. I'm pretty sure it would have gotten banned for sure. Okay, he's trying to be funny. It's a bad one. Uh, go ahead. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Here again, boring and talking too much about himself and he shows that he's lazy because he wants someone uh, to say hello. He wants the women to say hello first. That's not going to fly. So this one's just plain boring. No what's key word or such. But just what's wrong with Nathan's? Nathan, he's being racist by mentioning black man, 60-year-old. Again, he's being discriminatory. So that gets black that too. Maybe who he actually is. What's that? Well, first of all, he says he's 29, then he's actually 60. <laughs> yeah, stupid fun. humor. Are exactly. you guys getting this? Is this interesting to you guys? Fuck yeah, if this is interesting. As Akira reveals what what is fucking you up in your bio. Are you still with us? Let's get some fuck yes. So if you're doing this, you're you're getting fucked. That's right. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Shall we move on to the next slide? Hold on, because I want these guys to know that this is, and we got a lot of guys in here. Uh, we, we've got a good, good temple. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. By the way, I'm getting some red outlines on my screen. I don't know if it's me or you. I don't know. That's not me doing it. It could be someone. Uh, just ignore it. Okay. So here we go. What makes a good bio? There's three elements, right? The first one is an instant attention-grabbing opening sentence that isn't derogatory, corny, or AFC-sounding. Okay? Can you give us an example? What, what would be a good opening sentence? You could start by saying, what's it like to go out with me? That's an intrigue ping. You're piquing her interest by saying that or asking that rhetorical question. Right. And then the follow up. Yeah, I've, I've been using guys. I've been using this one. What's it like to go out with me? And then I put imagine a combination of basic instinct and and 50 shades of gray <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, and the notebook. And women are saying to me that's absolutely hilarious. Right. We're running out of time here. So let's go to the next one. OK, so vague language that intrigues her and at the same time leaves her wanting more causing her to swipe right, right? Sort of like a cliffhanger in a, in a soap opera. And C is some humor that keeps her reading. Women have short attention spans, so you want to keep her smartly entertained. Yeah, by the way, guys, keep your cursor off the screen. Just don't move your cursor. Go ahead, Kira. Yeah, so you combine the above with amazing pictures, and you'll be a swipe king. Okay, good. So the good news is we're going to show you how to create that magical poon tickling profile. You'll never have to second guess yourself ever again. Next slide. These are just some examples of, this is actually an entire conversational structure from me. Yeah, I don't think we have time to go yeah, through this, okay. unfortunately, but this is about how to structure messages and transition from phone to meeting. Um, we don't really have time to go through yep, it. That's fine. Ready to rock. So what we have we have something to you that's going to change your experience of online dating apps forever. All right, guys. So I want to talk to you about what we have available for you. We have Speed Seduction, the Digital Frontier. So here's what you're going to learn in a training that Akira and I will be presenting to you over the next eight weeks. First and foremost, you're going to gain quick, easy, and total mastery of standing the AI, AI algorithm on its head. We've talked about the problems. We're going to walk you through in the first module. We're going to show you exactly how to do this. We're going to take you step by step and work with you, show you how to create something that gets the AI algorithm working for you. We're going to spill the secrets exactly on how that does. We're going to be showing you exactly step by step how to take those pussy magnet pictures. So these are going to be advanced techniques that will cause women to feel attraction based on your looks, even if you're uglier than me a skinny, ugly, aging, six-foot geek from San Diego, California. So who thinks that would be a really good thing, that we were actually going to take you by the hand, show you how to structure your pictures, 
show you how to take your pictures in a way where they get number one ranked high so you get served up more matches and then the women actually respond to those pictures and find you attractive so who would like the ability to do that say fuck yeah in the tra in the not trans window in the chat window if you'd like to be able to do that if you'd like us to take it you hand by hand and show you how to take your pictures and make them pussy magnet pictures that get you highly ranked say fuck yeah we're going to do this live so live in real time over the next eight weeks we're going to take you and show you how to do that with your pictures if you're interested in that say fuck yeah you're getting a lot of fuck yes it's amazing you're getting a lot of fuck yes <clears throat> so we're going to show you how to craft that rock star bio we're going to again show you how to do two things with that bio get you a bio with the keywords that gets you higher ranked and then we're going to show you how to use pattern language in your bio how to use pattern language in your bio so that the speed seduction process begins automatically so there's an art to using the right words to get you ranked high and then matching those with words that get women hot and bothered as they read it we're going to unpack that for you that is a double crafted art. And then we're going to show you how to send that first muff moistening message. So forget about, hey, and how are you, and what are you doing? You got a hot pitch. We're going to show you how to send messages that have little tiny bits of pattern language in them. This is a real breakthrough. People said, how do you use pattern languaging in online dating apps? We're going to show you exactly how to do that. So who thinks that's fucking hot? Say yes in the chat window if that's fucking hot, if you'd like to have that ability to take little bits of speed seduction languaging and put it into that first muff moistening message. Would you like to have that ability? How can you stop? And what are all the ways in which you can stop and imagine what that will do for you? People have been asking me for years, how do we use speed seduction language online I couldn't figure it out. Akira has figured it out. And he and I together will be co-teaching this. So um, I think that's pretty fucking cool. That's amazing. <clears throat> and now the next thing we're going to do is show you how to deal with responses. Once you're getting her responses, how do you pick out her trance words? How do you use the speed seduction ability to take responses, link them to you, and then feed them back to her in a way where she gets more and more horny, more and more turned on. So who thinks that's fucking cool? Type seven in the chat window. If you'd like to be able to take the skill of reading her responses, incorporating them in your return messages and getting her hot and horny before you even meet up for her. I think Sam is actually in here. We should bring Sam on briefly. Yeah. How he's used this stuff. He, he's uh, also pretty good at. Emma's a master. He's been using what we taught him. Oh yeah, for sure. Get the pieces. And then you need to know how to transition them to phone into FaceTime. See, if you don't know how to get them off the app, you're just going to get shoved into the background because she's got so many people she's talking to. So we're going to show you how to quickly get them off the app and then get them onto the phone and FaceTime. And we're going to show you how to build rapport online. And then how do you use the exact language to get her to meet? If you want to close the deal, you got to get her to meet in person. So here's how you're going to get this delivered to you. We're going to do this live teaching. The way we're going to do this is we're going to teach you live. So that way, after each session, you can ask questions. We'll take you by the hand, answer your questions individually so you can get your questions answered and shape what you need to do in each lesson. Um, there are hands-on intensive learning sessions. There's a Q&A period at the end of each session. The recordings are going to be posted in the members area. So you can go back and review. You get lifetime access. The Q&A is not included in the replays, so you want to make sure you attend each session. Now, we have a fast action bonus for all of you. I know you guys are going to get very turned on by the fast action bonus. 
Fast action bonus. If you've been following me on Facebook, as a reward for registering within the next hour, you get access to the best of Tapping That Ass Facebook Live Collection, 54 lessons to get them undressing. So if you've been following me in the Facebook group, every Tuesday and Wednesday for about six months, I have been doing Tap That Ass Tuesday and Womenizer Wednesday. We have actually got 54 lessons. I thought it was 52. Akira is taking over doing Womanizer Wednesday. Yep. This is an encyclopedia of RJ lessons on getting laid. You will not be able to buy this at any time, anywhere. It's not available for sale. Uh, this is an encyclopedia of micro lessons. And it's going to help you further laser focus your speed seduction ability. They're raw, they're unedited. Some of them you'll see my smoking hot 19 year old girlfriend. So here's your investment today. It's 397. We have a financing plan available too. So you can do three payments. I think three payments of one uh, 397, I don't even know what it is, but it's dirt cheap and we guarantee your success. So if you're not successful with this course and getting lots of matches and getting laid online, we'll give you your money back. You have a full year to use it and use that guarantee. So here's how you get your access. Check it out. There's no obligation to find yourself buying right now, but go to seduction.com forward slash digital and check it out. Just check it out. I want to say once again, I finally got over this hurdle. I'm starting to get matches online, which I never was able to do by myself. I will be teaching this with Akira. So we're going to be opening every session we do with a little bit of a success trance by me. So the first five minutes of every session, everyone's going to get a, we're going to be going into trance as a group. I will be programming you to learn. Who thinks that's cool? You will get access to me. Each meeting, I'm going to be doing a trance session with everyone. So you have accelerated learning and you get the fuck out of your own way. So who thinks that's absolutely fucking amazing? Game changer, Jack Rice. Game changer. So the first five to 10 minutes of every live training, I'm going to be doing a success <clears throat> session with everyone in the group to make sure that you get the fuck out of your own way and you actually execute this. Because one of the dirty little secrets of online marketing is 90% of the people who buy a course never use it. I want to make sure you get the results and that you use it. So this is not put in here in the slide deck but I'm going to be doing five to 10 minutes of success trance at the beginning of each and every live session. It starts at 7 p.m. Pacific every Thursday. The sessions are recorded and put in a member's area in case you can't show up. Everything's recorded and you get lifetime access to that. We got a beautiful comment here. That's what we expect from speed seduction, being always modern and up to date. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, the first session is coming up quickly, so don't wait. You're going to receive emails from us with your access to our members area, reminders before each session, and notices when the replays are posted. But look, that's all detailed. Here's the most important thing. In any kind of purchase that you now recognize you're about to do, you ought to ask, does this work? Well, yes, it works. I can tell you as your guru, it's working for me. And I've never stirred you wrong. Number two, will it work for you? I, I think these principles of beating the algorithm are revolutionary. So will it work for you? I'm offering you the guarantee that it will work for you if you put in the work. This is work. It is work. There is a learning curve, but I and Akira will be there holding you by the hand. How soon can you expect to see results? It's an eight-week course, so I think you'll get results by the fourth week. Really? Mm -hmm. yep. So you can start to see results within a month. And again, you have one year. Now, I know there's going to be some scumbags who take advantage and who use that money-back guarantee, even though they're getting results, but I'll eat that. So take action now. Seduction.com forward slash digital.